Hey guys, so today I'm going on the road. I'm going to do my nails and get a few things done and I'm going to take you all with me. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. So the first thing I did, I went to my nail tech. I had a 10.30 appointment and I got there for 11 o'clock. But <laughs> everything worked out well. Um, I had a design in my mind. And this is the finished product. I absolutely love it. I just love how simple it is. Like, you know, it looks real cute. At this point, she was doing my toenails and she was like, Rochelle, you're not going to put on any white toenails today. Just to change the color. My other breath. No, sir. Why? So we just finished doing nails. It's so cute. Shout out to the nail tech. Um, I'm about to go to a store and get some things. All right, so I'm buying the grass for the backdrop. That's the grass over there. So I may see if there's like any flowers and we can paint inside. Well, I don't even got come relax. Let it the tap that you want to act. Take a look with the pop, wipe the paint away. You see, and it's tighter than a virgin, like what God say. I love when you give it. I'm basically in my home going home, my lane going home, and we just realized the same of a god for shave my eyebrow. <laughs> so you know who I could look like like Wolverine for the rest of the week. Me. Because I'm not going to get another chance to go back into the town. <sighs> So I just got home, made some strawberry dockery. Um, it's actually not strawberry dockery. It's strawberry dockery mixed with um, mango dockery. Real nice. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying out the mango dockery and the strawberry dockery. So let's get cracking. So in order to make this, you're going to need the dockeries, of course. You're going to need some ice and you're going to need your trusty blender. And um, if you want to add a little alcohol, do that. <laughs> but if not, it's fine. First thing you want to do is pop your ice into the blender. Or do a lot, do a lot. Basically, do as much as where you're comfortable with. But I use this this flavor a lot. I'm used to the strawberry dockery. So I'm gonna throw a little tops in there, like so. I'm going to add. Another. Is this like mango strawberry dockery? Ah! <laughs> All right, let's go. Alright, so that's what we're looking like. And I'm going to add a little bit of water in there. I have cocomania a little bit left, so I'm going to tap a little bit in there. This is a non-virgin um docky. Little toots, because we're not alcoholic. <laughs> My preference me like it when it's thick. So we're gonna try it out. This is what it looks like. So for the finished product. You come out this bad. This real bad. I'm gonna lie. It has like a little fruity vibes to it. Like it tastes kind of fruity-ish. I like this. I like this. I like this. This is nice. This is real nice. Proud of myself. 
From now on, and I call me Rush, the mixologist. <laughs> I love y'all so much and I feel like it's due time that I give you guys the content that you guys really deserve and the quality content that you guys deserve. So today I'm going to be putting up my backdrop and I'm going to show you guys how I do it and y'all tell me if you like it because I'm going to go sit down and watch the videos, right? Alright. Guys, me and feel like Santa Claus are coming with big gifts. <laughs> guys, so this is the area I wanted to use like right here. And as y'all can see, stick um, you can see tape on the wall because I had this backdrop up and I had to use tape to stick it up there because I didn't have anything else and I was doing something and I, I really needed a backdrop quickly. So I had ordered this off Sheen. It's really, really good enough and long and pretty. So my phone died so I didn't get to record the entire process but let me walk you guys through it. So this is just the grass right here and I had gotten a piece of cardboard or a box and then I spread it out. My idea was to just glue, hot glue the grass on the cardboard and then place it on the wall. So like use the hooks and hook it on the wall. So that's basically what I did. I just pull it out, position them, glue it and then cut the excess cardboard off and place it on the wall i didn't know how to use a hot gun or hot gun glue or whatever because it's the first time <laughs> i'm using one so i had to be reading the instructions and so forth so yeah it took me a minute Gotta be something different. you must be made for me patience is everything in and out in and out in and out arguing trifling product let me know what you guys think did you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and also go check out my tiktok page at rush waving go and big up yourself Bring it back, back.